we call this experiment either the iodine snake or the elephant's toothpaste. And what we're doing here is we're looking at hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, and how it decomposes into oxygen and water. And in order to speed up this reaction or speed up this process, we're going to use some potassium iodide to act as a catalyst. Now, a catalyst is something that can speed up or slow down. It basically can alter the rate of a reaction, but it isn't consumed within the reaction. And we have different types. We have biological catalysts as well in our own bodies, and we call those enzymes. So you might have heard of enzymes before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to pour a fixed volume of it into this. So all of these instructions are with the accompanying leaflet. I will then take some washing up liquid and I'll squirt this in because this is going to give us some suds and this makes the reaction a bit more dramatic and a bit more visible, which is very, very nice. And then also, if you want to, you can use food colouring. You don't have to. It just colours the reaction or colours the suds that will come out. Makes it a bit more visual for children in the classroom. And then finally, I'll put in my potassium iodide. So we can see it takes place almost immediately. And we have this characteristic colour which is given by iodine, which isn't actually uh, produced in the reaction, but it will be an intermediate as the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide goes to completion. So depending on what level you want to, to use this as a teaching tool, if you want to use it at higher level, fifth, class, fifth year, leaving certificate, transition year, you might be talking about catalysis, as I mentioned earlier. However, if you want to do this as a dramatic demonstration for junior certificate science, you can show that oxygen is produced. And you can show this as well to show, uh, prove that catalysis has taken place and that hydrogen peroxide has decomposed to oxygen and water. So the characteristic test for oxygen is to show that a flame will burn brighter in it or will relight a glowing splint. So as I touch this into the bubbles, can see that that flame glows that bit brighter and we can show that oxygen is present. In terms of safety, this is a relatively safe experiment. You can wear gloves with it, particularly sometimes the children want to come up and touch it. It's fine for them to do so, but because we do have some iodine as an intermediate, there will be a brown stain on the hands, which um, doesn't look very nice, but it's perfectly fine. And that's the iodine snake or elephant's toothpaste.